Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you how to make one Arduino send wireless commands to another. If you want to jump ahead, here are the timestamps. First, we're going to wire the Arduinos. And even though one is a transmitter and one is a receiver, the wiring is the exact same. Then we're going to write the code so that we can actually send data from one to the other. So here's my transmitter. And at the heart of this project is this chip. I have a link in the description and it's called an RF24 or NRF24 L01 plus. And the wiring that's on the backside is all gonna be based around this bottom left pin, the one that has a small square around it. So that's ground. Ground is black, followed by yellow, green, purple. On the Arduino, ground is black. Yellow, green, and purple are nine, 13, and 12. Looking at ground again, Directly above is our power, so red, then orange, then blue. This has to use 3.3 volts, not 5. Then orange and blue are 10 and 11. Now, to make this chip actually work, we have to install one library for Arduino. We're going to go to github slash nrf24 slash rf24. There's a link in the description below. We'll go to code, download zip. And Arduino doesn't like to have dashes or underscores in these file names. So we're going to extract it. We'll rename it to just RF24, and then we'll recompress it. I'll open the Arduino IDE, and I'll go to Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip Library. I'll go to my downloads. I'll go to the new zip we just created. And I already installed mine, but I'll overwrite it. Now we're going to write the transmitter. The transmitter is just slightly different than the receiver. But the one thing in common is they both use the same address. You can use any five characters you want. Using the same address means the receiver and the transmitter will talk on that address together. So we're setting up the radio signals, so pins 9 and 10, that's yellow and orange. That's our CE and our CS or CSN lines. Then we set up the radio, and on the transmitter we tell it to stop listening, only transmit. And if you want two-way connection, you're actually going to only stop listening when you transmit. Then on the loop, we're just going to send out hello world and wait for one second. And a huge thank you to How To Mechatronics where this code comes from. I'm going to unplug and just put this in a power source. And now it's time to take the receiver. Exact same wiring. And here we can see the same thing. We use the same address to communicate and we set up the same pins. And the receiver is starting to listen. So it always listens. And then it's going to print out whatever it reads. And I'll go to Tools, Serial Monitor, and there we have it. Every second, the receiver sees the hello world from the transmitter. And now you can change the transmitter code to send any message you want to the receiver. I hope this helps. Thanks. And if you want to see soon, I'm going to be doing this project with a PlayStation 5 controller and a Raspberry Pi.